Hey, it's Annie and welcome to my channel. I'm Annie. Today we're going to talk about makeup tips and tricks. I'm going to show you how to bring out your best features and how I go from looking like this to this. All right, with the power of makeup. It's pretty amazing. Um, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Just click that button below and hit subscribe and click the bell too. So anytime I have a new video, you are notified. So are you ready to get started? Let's do this. All right, so we're ready to get started. My face has already been cleansed and primed and we're ready to get started. But before we do really, really quickly, always make sure that you have a cleansed face that your face has been exfoliated if it's dry and make sure you always moisturize as well. Especially with when you have dry skin, you don't want your foundation to look patchy on your face. And also make sure you use a primer. There's all different kinds of primers. Primer, a foundation primer will help keep your makeup on and in place. It won't slide all over the place. And there are also some primers that will help minimize the appearance of your pores, okay? I also always use a primer on my eyelids because it helps my, it helps my eyeshadow stay on better, longer, doesn't crease. And it also, it, you also use less eyeshadow actually when you, when you use a eyeshadow primer. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation and I'm just gonna dab it on my face first. Now, one thing to remember when you're doing your, um, your foundation is to make sure whatever you use, whether it's a brush or a sponge, make sure that you are blending it really, really well. Take the time to blend it well, okay? Make sure you're getting it really well by all the, your, you know, by your nose and your chin. Make sure that you're getting some of that right below your chin and dragging it into your neck as well. Want it to look flawless and seamless. You don't want to look like you have a line around your face. When I'm on camera, you're not seeing all of it, but it took me a little bit to really blend it in, okay? So I know it seems like I just did it like that, but nobody does it like that. So make sure that you're taking the time to really blend your foundation really, really well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply my concealer. And I like to try to concentrate on placing my concealer right there. I don't like to spread it or apply it too, too much right here because I have fine lines and wrinkles. I should probably just say the wrinkles. Okay, who am I fooling? And so now I'm going to go ahead in with my sponge and I'm going to blend that out really, really well. Again, and I also blend in here because I have a little bit of that discoloration as well. Okay, and I'll blend it in here, but I just don't apply it there. Go easy on your concealer. A little bit goes a long way, especially on mature eyes. If you use too much, it'll end up looking crepey and you'll see all your lines and your hot, your, it'll just highlight your lines and wrinkles. So we don't want that, okay? I always use some sort of, I use two concealers. I use a concealer under my eyes and then I can use a different concealer that I use on my scar, where my glasses sit by my nose. Um, any little red little red little marks like I have there. I have a little bit actually right there. I'm just gonna get that just slightly. And I'll just take my other concealer and I'll blend it out. So some concealers work better for eye for under eye and some work better for flaws. So I always use two concealers. Then I'm gonna take a third concealer. And now I'm gonna put just a little bit down here. And what I'm doing here is I'm drawing the eye up. I'm gonna highlight a little bit today, okay? And you can do this with a concealer and that's what I'm using, just a concealer. And I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting right there on my cheeks. And I'm gonna just blend it up because I wanna pull my eye, I wanna pull my face up, okay? So when you look at me, it looks like my face is fresh and it's, glowing and it's lifted okay it's almost like giving yourself a little bit of a facelift with makeup again make sure that you blend this out really really well so now i need to set my makeup i always set my makeup what i do is i just pounce it on my face like this and then i'll go back and then i will lightly buff it in okay 
If I just go in with my powder brush right away and apply the powder like this, my foundation is going to be a little bit wet still and I'm going to slide it all over the place. So just go in there and just kind of bounce your brush around and then just um, blend it in, just buff it in. Next, I'm going to contour my cheeks because I need to add a little bit of dimension to my cheeks. I can use a cream for that, but today I'm going to use a powder. So I'm just going to go in with my brush and right here I can kind of see where my line is. That's where I'm going to add my contour, okay? So if you're not sure where yours is, look at your face okay your ear kind of hold a brush right there this is where you want to contour right there you don't want to go too far down i'm going to bring bring it to about right there like midway okay i like to use an angled brush when i apply my contour and i go really lightly and just kind of sweep it back and forth i'll go with the other cheek the same thing i don't like to overdo it if i'm putting it on i need more i'll go back and get more but i don't want it to be too dark and I don't want to have a line there. I like to blend it in because I think it's a nice softer look. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a little bit of bronzing. Bronzing is different than using a contour. This is going to create some shaded areas and give my face more dimension. A bronzer is going to give your skin a little bit of a glow. So I'm going to go ahead and just sweep it right here by my cheek so it's right above my bronzer. In a circular motion, I'm just going to apply a little bit of bronzer. And I'm also going to put some right here on my forehead, just right here, and just blend it out. Just kind of gives your face like a little sun-kissed sun glow. What's sun-kissed? <laughs> sun-kissed glow. So it looks like you were in the sun. So now we need to put some blush on. I like to keep my blush up high. The reason I like to do that is because, again, I want to lift my face up. I feel like as we age, at least on me, I feel like my face is falling and I need to lift it. So I don't want to put anything down here. I want to lift it up here. So I just swirl some of my blush in and I'm just going to put it right there, right where my bronzer was or applied. And I'm just going to swirl it in at the high point of my cheek here. So it's contour, bronze, and blush. Now I want to have a little bit more of a highlight at the top of my cheeks. I don't like to use anything too glittery or shimmery, especially on mature skin, because it could just make your skin that's starting to get a little crepey. It'll just bring that out more, and we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight just right above my blush. It's like right on the high point of my cheek, okay? So I'm just going to tap it in here really lightly because basically what I wa want to create is I want my skin to look dewy. Uh, dewy skin looks more youthful. So next we're going to start on the eyes and I'm going to show you how to make your eyes look really big. So what I do is I look straight ahead in the mirror and I let my eyes relax. If I go like this and I start putting my eyeshadow on and try to create that crease, that crease is going to end up coming down here and it's going to look like you, you won't be able to see what I did. First, I'm going to put a color all over. I always like to start out with a really neutral color all over my eye. I use many colors on my eye. The more colors that I use on my eyes, the more my eye makeup looks more seamless and flawless, okay? Now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it into a, you know, like a not too dark of a color, kind of like a medium color. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm looking straight ahead and I'm going back and forth and I'm kind of creating a new lid here. Okay, right there, right on my brow bone. No, not my brow bone, right on my, right on my bone there, my eye socket bone. That is going to make my eye look bigger, okay? So I kind of go back and forth. I'm, do, I'm going to do the same thing with this eye. Just back and forth, relax my eye. Then I'm going to take my blending brush, and again, we're going to blend that out really good. Always take the time to blend your eye makeup out. It's going to look like, you know, I'm doing stuff so fast and I'm not taking the time. But I'll be editing some of this out and I will be blending a lot. I'm going to go ahead and take another color here and I'm going to place that on my same area there. Still concentrating on that area. So again, I'm blending it in in circular motions towards my nose. 
okay? You wanna make sure you're blending in here too. You don't wanna just blend and stop. You gotta make sure that you're really blending all of your eye makeup in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a, a dark color for this corner here. And I'm gonna just pounce it on here, okay? I'm just gonna pounce it on the corner, the outside corner of my eye. Don't wanna to get too far out here, okay? Wanna stay right in here. And this is gonna draw my eye up and make my eyes really stand out and pop even more. Blend that in the circular motion. Make sure you're keeping it towards your, you know, going towards your nose. So something that I like to do that really kicks my eyes up a notch, really makes them look bigger and pretty, is I like to do a little bit of a shimmer color in my lid instead of a flat color. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply, and I just kind of pat it in there. I don't go too far over this way because I need to keep that dark. So it's really to about, oh, it's hard to say, a little bit, a little bit past the halfway of my eye, I would say. Okay, can you see that? Another way to make your eyes look bigger or something else that I do is I like to put a lighter color right on the top here. It just kind of helps pull the eye up. Now to make my eyes look even more bigger than they are, I like to do a little bit of a shadow underneath my eye. I don't like to bring it down too hard, but I just think it's a really pretty look. I think it brightens my eyes and opens my eyes more. Taking a color that is, I, I either sometimes I take the same color that or I'll do a color that's similar to the color I used right there on the edge and I just go right on my lash line. I have to get my mirror. I'll go right on my lash line, and then I start to blend it in, okay? Okay, can you see my eye here compared to there, how it just like popped my eye out? My eye looks bigger already, and that eye looks smaller. So now I'm going to add, a, I'm gonna line my upper lash line. What this will do is it will make your lashes look thicker. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line the inside of my waterline. I'm going to line it and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it in, okay? Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is going to instantly lift your eyes even more. It's amazing. What I do is I like mine to look as natural as possible. Just brush my eyebrows down. Then I take my pencil and I go up. I kind of make little hairs, okay? Then I go on top of it and I start to follow my shape. Then I brush my hair up. Then I start going underneath and I follow the shape down there. Okay, can you see the difference between my eyebrows? See how this eye looks up? And I brush this up too. So this is brushed up. Can you see the difference? It really makes my eyes look bigger. It pulls my eye up and it's like an instant lift for your face. So before I finish my eyes, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do my lips. My lips are uneven because I have a birth defect. So I have to create my own lips, especially my upper lip. So my bottom lip, I overdraw and then obviously my upper lip as well to try to make it look as even as possible. I'm going to use my lipstick. I always curl my eyelashes. I'm going to apply my mascara and then I'm going to put my lashes on. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. Okay, so this is it. This is my final look. That is it, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Please make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs up. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, just click that button below and hit subscribe. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will leave all the links below, and I will see you real soon.
Bye.